Okay. <laughs> Oh god no. Don't do it, Joe. We're not live, are we? Yep. Oh. Uh. I wanna do it. I wanna date him. I wanna date him. I wanna date him back I want to date a faggot. Oh, wow, what you gonna do? <laughs> Dude, that fucking whammy bar or whatever the hell's going on is great. That's murdering me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny shit. Welcome, everybody, to the Hangout. This is the... This is the hangout where me and Bailey just got on a call and we're getting ready to like record our new show, our our old show that's back again that will be new. If that makes any sense. And we just figured we wanted to come on here and break out the cobwebs, do it live. Cuz that's a wipe the dust off the old book. Is that what your mom calls her pussy? Oh Jesus. I can't God. play that anymore. I might say the fucking words. Yeah, that's it, dude. I was, I was worried. I was like, okay, he's clearly not giving a fuck about this. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nobody he's knows. Really gonna get. Oh my god, Ooh. I, I want to tell people like so bad. Like it's but... almost like you should like. It's almost like we want to play a little clip from it, but you know, there's people out there that will take that clip and they will just run rampant with it for months. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't write. I mean, it's, I didn't do it. You know. I didn't right. fucking it was, do it. It was it was the other guy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Listen. <laughs> hey, hey, you ever spent a thousand dollars on equipment and then did a show where you said seven words? <laughs> <laughs> and you just relied on everybody else to say things? Oh boy. I I mean I know I haven't done that. No, I, I know. know somebody who has. I know. I, <laughs> I know some is. people out there. Yeah, it's like, oh man, look at this fucking equipment I bought. But you know what? I'm an idiot. <laughs> 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 oh, it's man. literally like, wow, that looks professional. When's he gonna talk? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, um, you know, you come home from work and you light 17 candles. And you get like you buy really good clothes and a car, and you got a job, but you just can't seem to get a girl naked. It's like you can't. Everything's there, but that you don't know how to talk to anybody. <laughs> you lost me when you said you light seventeen candles. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking <laughs> that about. Part was... That was weird. <laughs> if I bring a chick home and she sees seventeen candles lit, she's thinking I'm sacrificing her or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the name of a movie, isn't it? Like seventeen candles or. You know, five. Six, I think I think sixteen candles, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, isn't that a? That's <laughs> <laughs> that one about that bitch. <laughs> what? That's that one about that bitch. That's fucking funny, man. You should have heard Tommy Tommy NC earlier today. Fucking um, Alien Man was doing something, I guess, and I and you know, <laughs> hey, um, Alien Man. Now Tommy, now I didn't know why Tommy was messaging me. This he was like, "You ever, Joe? You ever just want to hurt somebody or whatever?" And I'm like, "What the fuck oh, are you God. talking about?" Like, right, hold on. Dan, I swear, sometimes like some people are just morons, and they, you know, it's ridiculous. I swear, you know, it's I, I it makes me sick. And I have no idea what he's talking about here. He just he just sent me that message. Listen, Rabbit. That's assault, brother. <laughs> That's assault, brother. Then he says this. You know, dude, you just can't help it sometimes because it's just you your anger builds up and you just have no control and you just have that blind rage. I'm like, I'm like, blind rage? Like, dude, is he about to admit to killing somebody? Like, Dude, I'm telling you, man, he's getting fucking real weird here lately. Yeah, but it was all about real weird. It was all about Cake Man. That's what it was all. He was mad at him for, I guess, 
something or whatever. I don't know. But it, but I was like, what are you? What the hell are you talking about? Hey, dude, did I he, saw some. I don't know. Did weird. he say on honestly like what he was upset about? Like no, exactly I that never, we fucking unf- space rocket was talking about? No, we got in. A, we got I, the subject changed somehow, and I never got back to it. And I'm so mad that I didn't. But I and I kind of didn't want to care anyway. But it was just weird that he was that angry. I'm like, just don't listen to somebody then. Hey, if you're yeah, not I'm, mad. yeah, I'm wondering what this person would have said that would have made Tommy like, well, I guess it doesn't take a lot to piss off Tommy, does it? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't take a lot to piss off Tommy, but it's like, it's like, Hey Joe, just have you ever just like woke up the next morning and realized you fucking killed somebody last night? <laughs> like that's, that's what, what it that was like. like to me. That's yeah. exactly what it was like. I was like, dude, do I like, should I delete this? I mean, did you, what are you talking about? Well, too late now. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's out there now, baby. I feel like if you tease, like you know, like a homeless guy teased them enough, crack a rock right over their head. Yeah, you know, just bust them right in the fucking head. Especially if it was like nighttime by a bus stop, and Tommy just thought that nobody was around. I could see him just picking up a boulder and just dropping it on a head. Yeah, like you know what? Or he just like, and when he like gets mad, he goes into that rage where it's like. <laughs> It's like the fucking water boy. Yeah, that's no, really. Like I, I don't know. I picture that. Yeah, it's like the uh, the fucking. Um, well, I better not say that, but the. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you know. I want to date and. <laughs> no. Man, maybe I should ask the audience if they think that that's an okay song. I don't know. No, I I don't want to do that. I don't think we should put that out there. For if a you're moment. worried about that, you should have heard what I heard earlier because earlier today, man. I pulled up uh, old shock talk stuff. Is it bad? I have. I didn't. Oh know my it was, god! It's we, not available anymore. On well, Pop no. Day. Yeah, no, it's not. But we no. We purposely were trying to say things that were horrific. Like we were. We were like trying to sound like horrific on purpose. That's the thing. Were, were, did the clips on YouTube get taken down as well? Because I couldn't find those either. I think I took all of them down because I reworked that channel into a different channel, so I didn't want that stuff sticking up in there. But <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a fucking thorn. It was weird. It but there was like the mud butt one or the the girl that with the shit on her face or whatever the hell oh, we were talking the about. Retard. <laughs> what? Wasn't she a retard? Oh my god! I don't. You know, I don't know. What from like two years ago? That show. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the retarded chick. Who? Yeah. I don't even remember. Wait a minute, what are you talking about, mud butt? It was like some girl from like two years ago we were talking about on that show. And are I you don't... talking about the one you told the stories about, like the mayonnaise jar and stuff? Oh, that's that is what it was. Okay, never mind, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a retarded chick, right? Yeah. Okay. Toys R Us plans come back with seventy new stores. Here it comes. Could you imagine the people that have no idea what we're talking about when it comes to shock talk and the and the way we talk about it and the fact that it's not available anymore? Like, what kind of like? Imagine like the curiosity on that. Yeah, because I mean, I'm insane. sure you still have the sound files. I do. It's insane. Like, I I don't know. Like, I don't even think I don't think they should be released. No, you could never. You could. That would come down from YouTube so fast now. And we did that, what, three, four years ago? It was a while ago. Yeah, that's how much things have changed. You know, and we were and we were going for, like, we were acting, basically. Like, that's the whole point. Like, we were, com- we were purposely, like, egregiously over the line. Like, we were, like, saying horrific shit. Really, like, really bad stuff. Even But in, in, like, even when we got done, we'd be like, that was really bad. <laughs> like, yeah, we got done, we are like, whoa. Like that's fucked up. And to then, show the date on the on the content, it was like right when Colin Kaepernick kneeled for the first time. Right. So that was easily three years ago. I don't remember what was going on. Um, what's up to the chat though? How you guys doing? How's everybody doing? Little, little launch party we're doing here for the new uh, JB and Cronin. <laughs> Yeah, we're just doing a little. We're just doing a hangout launch. We're about to record our show and our shows and shit, 
And while we're doing that, we just wanted to come on here and hang out with you guys in the chat for a little while. And just, Maybe we could uh, take a couple of calls if you want. Yeah, we could do that. We could take a couple of calls before we record. Maybe people give us some ideas or topics or yeah. they just want to bullshit for a minute. You guys can call us and tell us what you want us to do or who you want us to kill. Let me just hook up well, my Skype, okay? If you need somebody killed, we'll uh, direct you to uh, Tommy. at Tommy Talks on, Sco on, Sco on Skype. Yeah, Tommy will kill someone for you. Like, no problem. Like I, I, I'm, he's really getting down that dark road. As long as you buy him Denny's, you'll be good. Oh yeah, that's true. You buy him a Grand Slam, he'll fucking murder a baby for you. <laughs> By the way, uh, God, he's like standing over top of it with a piece of bacon and a hammer. Yeah, he's he's fucking at a Wendy's eating shit and then fucking a dyke in the ass. <laughs> uh, let's take a. What? <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. Hey, let's take a phone call. Hello. Hey, how you boys doing tonight? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm just on my space right rocket away. enjoying Who's the show, fucking bro. fucking faggot voice it is. This is the first call that comes through. If only at 4 a.m. <laughs> would this call come through. Who's screening these goddamn calls? I didn't look, honestly. The tablet is frozen, so I just hit the green button. All right. Is he still on the So, line? I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I want to weigh in. I mean, can I weigh in on what you guys should do with this new show? All right, go ahead. Go for it. I mean, why, why, why not have a drink? Listen, why not have a drinking competition? Like, I, I friendly suggested to JB today that him and I have maybe a drinking competition. You know, instead of a eating food challenge, I bet you I could drink because anybody I under the table. Because I can't win a drinking competition with an incompetent alcoholic piece of exactly, shit. Exactly, bro. Exactly. See? Now, that's oh. something I would beat you on. I thought your ego... That's like me having a baby. dunking no, come on. contest with a seven-foot-tall black guy. Well, I just don't think we could keep it up. I mean, that's, to be honest, like, I don't think we could keep up, like, oh, we're going to get drunk every episode, you know. You know, I mean, maybe, you know, if JB didn't have a job, yes. If You know, I mean, if JB didn't have, like, multiple things he had to be doing. Yeah, if I like, didn't have a job, I would be totally okay with alcoholism. Absolutely. Like, at least once, once though, a week, right? I mean, like, we could drink fuck around i mean well, you know you've drank before on the show oh yeah used to get blackout drunk on this show yeah it'd be no problem i, don't think I mean i miss sure. those days honestly man when you guys used to get ossified and, hmm. and joe would pass out in the fucking chair till five in the morning and throw up a little bit and bailey was laughing his fucking ass off like honestly man i'm not i'm not being a dick or anything like that i'm honestly telling you from the bottom of my heart those were the fucking golden monetized this is they were hey man hurt I swear to God, uh, like I love you. Oh, what? <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna be all gay with him or something. Um, thank you for calling, caller. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. What I mean, are the odds of that being your goddamn first call for I can, the launch party? Yeah. No, I, I really appreciate though. He had input. If you had input, it's got input. He, he was very cordial. We'll give him that. Although he shit talked us for like three hours all day today. Oh really? Yeah, I mean, I heard about it, but I I was only hurt like wit witnessed it for a second. Yeah, I, it was on my timeline. I tuned in, and well, because uh, I got those screenshots where Rocky was saying something about <laughs> me. Mm. And yes, he yeah. gave us some pretty decent ideas. Yeah. No, at least uh, at least he buried. Dude, I gotta tell you something that's really funny to me though. He does really, but people were sending me the whatever, and so I heard it, and I it was just funny because he was like. You know, the, yeah, the, he was doing the thing where he's like, oh, you know, you can tell when someone, whenever someone attacks me, other people s jump in with them to try to be friends with them or whatever. And so that's what was happening. And then he basically didn't, he didn't go with it and was like, well, you're a piece of shit who whores your wife out or whatever. And you, <laughs> who uses wow. your wife? Play the clip. Let's, let's see I, the clip. I can't, I don't have it synced up, like, oh. at, like lined up right now, but it's really funny. We'll play it. Maybe we'll play it on the real show later or something. I'll, I'll line it up. Okay, there so, we go. We'll do, on the a, JB we'll show. do episode one. On the Bailey and Cronin first episode. This is just our pilot. Like, we're saying hi to you guys, hanging out for a few. You guys Are can we call calling in. Bailey and Cronin or JB and Cronin? I don't know. Bailey and Cronin works for me. JB and Cronin works for me. I like Bailey and Cronin. Maybe we could, Okay, we'll, we'll stick with Bailey and Cronin. We'll, maybe we'll even come up with another name, too, like some other name and, and our names or something. You know, we'll, we'll come up with something special for the launch. And we're going to release it like, you know, Netflix episodes and shit like that. 
you know yeah so yeah we're just we're like officially announcing that now uh, like like joe just said uh we're actually going to release uh the initial jb bailey and cronin whatever it ends up being when we do release our first uh, block of content we will be releasing them like netflix where they drop like a whole season uh, i think right now our plan is like to drop five five or six i think is what we talked about so when we do launch the show, you guys will get five episodes right out of the gate to binge. That way you've got plenty of content to get used to the style and everything, which not that they're going to have to get used to that. It's going to be what we've been doing for closing in on like five years. I can't believe it's been that long. I know. It is weird to think that. That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. I trailed in and I, tra- I trailed in at like October 15 when I started doing the Bernie Sanders prank calls. And then after that, we just kind of started trucking on. We got to talk about Bernie Sanders when we do the first episode. We can't, we got to save it though. We can't talk about it here. I want to talk about it here though, but we got to save it. Yeah, we got to save it. We got to, we got to keep the mystique alive for the, we're also going to talk about the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the fucking homo's name. Is it Jesse or Jussie? Oh, the the guy, geez, the guy that got uh, the guy that lied about getting beaten up, him. Right. Um, I think it's I don't know, Jesse. Yeah, it doesn't make what the fuck. He's probably lying like, about being a fucking flaming homo too. He's probably doing that for yeah. extra draw. Uh, he's probably too, just so. doing that for the free cum. <laughs> 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 he wants that's, all, that's your golden ticket to jizz. He wants free cum. That's my that's my that's the whole fucking conspiracy with this fucking guy. I can't wait to talk about that. I'm actually excited to talk about like some of these topics like like I've been one I haven't talked about it yet. That's why. Yeah. I haven't got to like sound off on this uh Jesse, Jesse, Homo, whatever you want to call him. I haven't got to sound off on the whole situation yet. Yeah, this is going to be good, man. We got to save it though. So, somebody fucking call us. 339-226-6610. <laughs> We're waiting for you guys. I don't know, donations are on, whatever, a call up. I don't know whatever you want to do, guys. We're just hanging out with you guys right now. This is us just we're chilling out, waiting to see uh we're kind of uh just trying to fuck around with the audio. So, I figured we go live and hang out with you guys. And uh, by the way, me and Tommy's episode is up on Patreon too. That's up there for uh, honestly episode four, where Tommy admits to uh, wanting to make love to a blow up doll. Wow! No, he really doesn't do that. I'm just joking. Oh, damn! JB talked to us about Trump. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, feel the burn, Vito. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, I was I was ready to feel the burn, and then I felt the cool. I felt the cool down. I felt the fucking pisses his pants. You know, I mean, Bernie Sanders turned into a pussy. Like, let me, let me. Who said that? Vito. He said hashtag feel the burn. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me help Vito out for a second. <coughs> Vito, I was a hashtag feel the burn guy. Okay, I voted for Bernie in the primaries. I wanted Bernie on that stage. Bernie is a fucking sellout Jew bag. <laughs> oh my God. And the fucking Sorry. song Sorry. was bad and the song Sorry. was wrong. I'm kidding. Oh honestly. my God. <laughs> I'm kidding. But he is Jew as fuck, but <laughs> he, he's totally sold out his entire like MO. He sold everything out to do this backing Hillary Clinton who even like detested it later on saying that the Democratic candidates didn't even back her. I don't want to get political on this show. I'm just telling you straight up the hashtag feel the burn. Please hashtag feel common sense. It's not it doesn't work. uh, Feel the fold. It doesn't work. It's feel the fold. He folded. Bernie folded. Yeah, big time. Super chat. Oh shit. Super Super chat's coming in. Hello Knuckers JB for president 2020. Oh my god. What did he say? He said, uh... Well, I mean, if it, I, well, if it I mean, is what I think he said, don't say it. It was Broken Lion. I mean, he is, you know... That's how he talks to his friends. Okay, we'll play the song for him. Oh, bro- <laughs> yeah, Broken <laughs> Lion. Is that Broken Lion? Is that how you talk to your friends, bro? You know, I, 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 I knew a... I, uh, I have a friend who wrote a song for our show. No, 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 no. And, um... 
it's it's you know you you know you love the that word that n word, and I uh, you know my friend really really badly wants. I to really st- don't want to do this. He wa- <laughs> He really wants to stop dating white women. My friend wants to stop dating white women, and my friend only wants to date black women now. And he was so happy about this. He made a song about it. He was just so happy. Uh, I. I want to date a. N- Yeah, he just really wants to like stop dating white women. Connor's on the phone. What's up, Connor? <clears throat> Not much, guys. How's it going tonight? <laughs> I cannot fucking believe you played that clip. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious, dude. I don't know how to follow that up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come in after that, like, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, how do you follow that? <laughs> like, what hey, man. hey you- guys, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? How you doing? You're another honky, another fucking white piece of Casper. Um, I'm just privileged, you know, doing my exercising my white privilege all over the place. Um, <laughs> it's fucking what is it? Four in the morning over there? Yeah, it's four in the morning. We're fucking retards. Yeah, same here, dude. It's all good. Did you guys see that they were gonna give Saudi Arabia nuclear technology? We were gonna do that. Yeah, the United States. There's a rush to transfer nuclear technology to Saudi. Joe Cronin, wow. Justin Bailey, 2020. Hey, Bry Guy, thanks for the dollar ninety nine. Yeah, we'd love to run, Bry Guy. That'd be great. Um, I'd vote for your guys. Uh, you know what? I think I'd vote for me too. At this point, yeah, fuck yeah. You. yeah. How weird is that, right? The Saudis, the guys who like helped us, basically. Hey, you want to help us blow up our own buildings? Cool. Yeah, now, right. now now we can tell them to nuke us if we have to. Yeah, that's great. They're, these people are so fucking far behind in the times. They live in sand dunes and shit. But let's give them a nuke. Well, you know, I think I think. Why do you think we're doing that? You think it's because number one, money, and number two, because to offset Iran? No, it's because in fifteen years we'll we'll have to invade them because they have weapons of mass destruction, and it'll be just like Iraq. Oh I'm my god! Right wow, I'm dude. calling it. Wow, you're blowing my mind, dude. We just take all their money and oil and shit. It's exactly like what's it. gonna I happen. I like it. That's like that's like um, you know, you're looking. Oh my god, dude. That's like you grab a guy off the street and bring him in your house and say he was robbing you, and then you kill him for his like wallet. Yeah, like that's so him. weird. Yeah. Wow, dude. You give a guy a gun so you can frame him. That's nutty. I get it. That's crazy. Yeah. Fuck the Saudis. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Take their oil, take their whatever, take all their shit. Fuck what them. What do you, you, what do you, t- dude? Imagine that would be horrible. Like if we did that, it'd be worse than the Iraq shit. We'd be in war forever. Like the place would be destabilized, just like Iraq was. That'd be sick. That'd be terrible. They'd probably let them nuke a city of ours to just to anger the population Ex- enough to get into it. Right. Exactly. Let then let's delete them. Just get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we'd be doing it. Like, we'd be like, just get I rid mean, of them. I mean, you laugh, but let's just fucking get rid of them. Who? I, yeah. Saudi Arabia. I don't blame you, man. I think that... Oh, we love... So- I mean, like, we're friends no, with them, though. No, we don't. I don't. Oh, well, I mean, I, our people would ever do. I ain't never going to Saudi Arabia. Just because they're Fuck rich. That. <laughs> Look at WWE. They didn't have... They were in cahoots with them only because they got paid, like, 200 million dollars or whatever they wouldn't let their women wrestle there and then they're in this women's revolution it's all bullshit it's all for money yeah well yeah the wwe don't care they just want the money yeah i mean how could they not say no to it's like uh, yeah it's true but speaking of like uh you were we were kind of shitting on bernie sanders uh hypothetical here jb hypothetical from hell would you rather have alexandria ocasio cortez or bernie sanders in as president Bernie Sanders. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Super Jack. At least he's Super not like half retarded, Replace I guess. Replace the N with F I meant to say. Oh, broken lion, I get it now. You meant to say fucker? And instead you Finger. said he said knucker instead of fucker. I get it. I get it. Now. I, I don't know. I, I think I actually think that Vito supports Cortez. <clears throat> no, Vito loves her probably. Yeah, he does. I've, I've seen, unless I'm mistaken, I, I saw a couple of now, tweets where he was like, 
I back saw her shit. that that thing she did one day where she was crapping all over, you know, crapping on them at the government, saying like, "So I could just go be do this if I was running for office, and I could do this and that." That was great. She had a great point. That whole thing was really well done. I thought I liked what she said, but she constantly says things that are just like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" What even yeah, like she put on like you know, you're stupid, right? That's bad. Yeah, like, like like right now he's like people are uneducated on her. What are you talking about? She's uneducated on anything. I'm I'm very educated yeah. on her. She's like half retarded. Um <laughs> I now by the way, a lot of her beliefs I agree with cuz I lean that way. But doesn't mean she's not retarded. <laughs> like I mean like I I agree with a lot of things she says. Like sometimes when she says things that make sense, I'm like, "Yeah, I agree with that." But then like a lot of times she says things and it's like, that is just not even right. Like, what are you talking about? I hope she runs. I hope she's a candidate. <clears throat> yeah, me too, because that'll be hilarious. That <laughs> you will think be it would be hilarious. like the Trump uh, uh, counter effect? Yeah, it basically is. It's like the Trump It's going to be effect. that anyways, bro. Yeah. Yeah. She really, I mean, she's dumb. I mean, like, it's not, it's not a party thing because I'm more of a left person, like, it, she's just dumb like she is dumb um you know you, I, don't, I don't know like how to say it i guess it's like fit the difference is like he gets things done in a way like it's weird like i can't quite figure it out <laughs> but like i don't know man dude i you was gonna go to the white she, she go to the white house and fuck every person in there oh, man i think they're just trying to write as many stories about her as possible to make her seem like she's like something like it's the weirdest thing. Um, you know, I don't know. She's got some points, like I said, like where I'm like, oh yeah, I get that. I like, I, I agree with her. But again, anybody can get up there and make a decent point. Anybody could. Hmm. Like any, yeah. anybody can throw on a fucking pantsuit and giant lips with buggy ass eyes and yeah, fucking she... get up there and be like, yeah, our government's crazy. And they're like, she's people terrifying. like, oh yeah, she's making a great point. Yeah. Anybody can fucking Speaking do that. She looks terrifying. So, you know, she fucking retards. Like uh, did you hear, like, in Oregon, they had to declare a state of emergency because uh, so many people didn't uh, vaccinate their children. So there was, like, a measles outbreak. Yes, I heard about this. Fucking dumbasses. People are like, <laughs> oh, no, we, we shouldn't vaccinate. It's a some kind of thing's going to happen. Um, yeah, it's, if you don't vaccinate, you know, measles are going to happen. You know, I can actually, I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make my Twitter DMS open to the public. Uh, I'll make my Facebook messenger open to the public. We don't vaccinate our kids. Wow. Oh, hey, let's go see, I want to hear yourself. your perspective, JB. Let's hear it. Well, I mean, I, I, just, I just did. I said, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I'm not. Well, it, I'm, it's a fucking. You can choice change my people mind. Want to vaccinate their kids? That is a 100 percent choice, and people can sit there and dog other people. If I choose not to put vaccinations in my kids, then you can go fuck yourself. They're my kids, and you it's can, not being irresponsible either. You can. Um, you don't have to do it, but I would say that if you're going to travel, because I think how this started was the guy traveled to like somewhere like Vietnam or somewhere. So they 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 traveled with the kids to like Vietnam. Like after they didn't vaccinate their kids and then came back, and it's like, well, that you're retarded. I mean, you're retarded because they. JB, don't... you believe in science, right? You believe that there are two genders because of science, right? Correct. So then, why don't you believe doctors when they tell you this shit is good for your children? Because I've had shots many times in my life, and no matter what I get a shot for, I somehow end up getting whatever it is. Whatever you fucking vaccinate your kids with, it's never even the active strand that's in the atmosphere. Are your kids vaccinated for polio? Yeah, I think so. I, I think okay. that you think See, so? That's, that's, Ke Keish, why well, don't you fuck, dude? My wife is the one that goes to the doctor with all the with the kids and stuff like that. I don't. Okay. I'm not up to date on whether my kids are fucking vaccinated for polio. I think they are. Uh, See, have they gotten their shot the for fucking weasels? Worry. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, well, so if you're you, doing that, then, man, you're, then you're good. 
Yeah, I mean, that's what we're talking about then, you know, Bailey? Because I... I we're not talking flu vaccinations. Yeah, I mean, I... I well, I mean, I, there's a fucking new vaccination out every three months, and people are like, if you don't do it, there's going to be a fucking outbreak, and we don't, well, we don't, no. we don't ever do it, and there's that's never an outbreak. That's not true. That's not going to happen. Nobody says that. What happens, and if they it's do... Nobody the says what? That there's going to be an outbreak if you don't vaccinate your kids? I hear that all the fucking time. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, measles could come back, and, like, old viruses that shouldn't kill us could come back if you don't vaccinate. Yeah, that's true. Measles was like I can't remember where I read the article. Like measles was like responsible for like one point two percent like death rate or something like that. Like when if people that actually got it, yeah, it's so only people, just, people need to calm the fuck down. Yeah, well, it is true it's that one hundred percent preventable. That's the thing. So nobody should be dying from it at all. Yeah, but like, even the people that people do don't get vaccinate it, their children at is, a young I age, your name. They even people that do get it have it's a one like one point two percent of the people that got it done, fucking died. So, not a great percentage. It's it's a yeah. It's, I mean, I get it. Like, and it could more be, people are killed with E. coli. And I'm not I'm I'm not saying that it's not the government. Like, by the way, I'm not saying that it's not a, a like. Hey, we're the we're the government. We want to be able to stick this shit into your kids and everybody. How, how can we control everybody? Oh, well, we'll tell them that they'll get measles. You know what I mean? You can, you can, mm -hmm. we, can, we can use that as the crutch to deliver whatever mm -hmm. poison they're putting in people's bodies. And they could lie to us and use measles to scare us. And that could be why when only 500 people have died of the measles over the last, whatever the fuck, ever in the United States, I think, actually, um they could be like, well, that's the thing we're going to use to scare people because it can happen and we can use that to scare them into the vaccine. Um, I'm not hey, Joe, saying. Let, well, let, let me ask you a question because Vito in the chat says all the things that I've read on AOC are from right-wing news sources. He's claiming that everything that I put out there is from a right-wing news source. So what fucking news source do we have to release or do I have to cite in order for it to be legitimate? What what's it got to be? The BBC, the CNN? I don't understand. Well, I like mean, any anytime you cite a fucking news source, people are like, oh, it's Fox. Can't use that. Yeah, because here's the thing. Here's why you have to. Uh, here's what you have to do. You have to look at what you actually said, and then do the whole thing yourself. Because CNN isn't going to say anything disparaging about her, and Fox is going to like make up shit about her. So like, or like take it too far. So well, you, I was talking about the vaccine thing. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, just vaccines? Yeah, well, I mean, so I, what I'm saying, though, is I am open-minded. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, oh, I apologize. You were right. It was on the Cortez thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I, I, I apologize. I, I only go by my own eyes. If I see a story by Fox about something she did or said, I go. I make sure to go watch it myself. Like, whenever you hear a news story nowadays, you really can't just go with whatever the news site said. You really have right. to say, okay, what are they saying about her? Okay, now let me go look at it. Is it really that? Do I really feel this way about that? You, you nowadays you can't just go with the the article and say, oh God, she's crazy. You know, you have to go read it because um, I found that yep. seventy percent of the or time, yeah, no, seventy percent of the time it wasn't mm -hmm. that bad. Well, it was like, well, that's not really that bad. I kind of agree with her, but thirty percent of the time it was like, Jesus, she's stupid. Well, yeah, because I'd like I watched, to add the, uh, CNN I watched also her interview on, on her CNN or whatever with the too. person who was talking about her new Green Deal or whatever. Yeah. yeah. She didn't even know what the fuck she was talking about. And even the person on CNN was like, you do understand that this would put us trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's yeah. It, She doesn't, it's it's weird. She's uh, ill-prepared for many things. When so I'm not citing her. a right wing a right wing news source. I'm I'm literally citing an interview I saw on CNN, which I thought would make him very happy. The thing yeah. is, is like who else? You, you, like you said, JB, who do you source? Like the Washington Post, who just got sued by that Covington Catholic kid uh, because they put out that false article and left it up, even though he said like you know, hey, take this shit down because it's not true. Did you guys read up, see any of that shit? With I'm the so MAGA glad. Hat? I'm so glad they're suing. I'm, they're suing the Washington Post. That piece of shit paper. I hate these fucking these media people. Um, I don't even agree with those kids on most things, probably and whatever. But like, You're talking about the Catholic school students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was a huge fucking hatchet job there. That was crazy. Yeah. They had an opportunity was... to take that shit down too, and they they just left it up. That's why they're getting sued. 
You want to hear something fucked? Who's this on the phone again? What was the name? Connor. Connor. You want to hear something fucked up? There was this guy on my Facebook who posted those dumbass pictures of like the picture in the 60s of the people and then matched it up to the picture where the Indian was beaten on the drum. You know, that that meme or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, and people posted all these pictures. They posted all these articles before the real news came out. That person, after it was proven, like, you know, that the kids were not in the wrong and all this stuff, he left the shit up there. And then on the articles posted where he even said, I want to correct this article that I didn't research enough. And then in the comments, I said, then you should take down those posts that's spreading fucking race hatred that you just blew up for three straight days. And his response was, I'm going to leave them up to show humility. <laughs> Stupid. He, did he That's also the type of shit we're dealing with nowadays. We don't have reached. smart individuals that we're working with. These people are only interested in spreading hate. If they didn't want to, if they didn't want to spread hate, would have taken those articles down. I think. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. sometimes too, they're just we. It's not even that. Sometimes I think now it's just fucking. They're they're trying to make money. But like you're right. Why would you leave it up then? It's like you already made your clickbait. So why leave it up now? So now that he leaves it up, it's like that's weird. <laughs> Because now someone else is going to come along. They're going to see that. They're going to be like, oh, my God, look at this racist photo. And they may not follow that trail all the way to what actually was the truth. Right. And this guy got – what I don't understand is this kid and all these kids got doxxed. And um, all these people got doxxed and everything. But it's like if that was Alex Jones, that would be a big problem. And, like, he got banned from everything for that. I mean, what he did was a little worse, but it's it's still the same principle of, you know, you're getting people in trouble because of your – false accusations but joe um, the thing is the fact that this group of yes white catholic school students who are wearing maga hats who are there to protest a pro-life or excuse me uh pro-choice uh rally or whatever it was they were made out to be the bad guys and not one fucking word of these black hebrew nationalists yeah, no one oh, really I talked know. about them. They were so crazy too. It was screaming weird. faggot and the, it calling the the black. There was a black kid too in that Catholic school student group, and and and, and they called him. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was weird. I can't say it. Like it, like that's how bad it was. But you didn't see one fucking word from that shit. Dude, Joe Rogan's a fucking sellout now. I can't stand him sometimes. I don't listen to a show anymore. Well, oh. I listen. Connor. I unsubbed. You unsubbed. Oh my god. Um, you know what it yeah, is, is I liked him too and I still listen but it's like I don't want to be that fucking fan or listener that turns on the guy eventually you know because people you know I know what that's like but it's just like he yeses everybody he contradicts himself Party. I still love you guys oh Vito I love you too man you can you can still love um Orcasio Cortez and shit, bro. It's all good. That's why we're in America. You can love her. Vito is a is the is like the picture perfect person, and Monica is too. Like me, you know, we're we're very close with Monica, and Monica's a good friend of mine. She's the champ. Um, we we actually uh, um, exchange Christmas cards, and I mean, like, we're very close. But on the political scale, we could not be any far apart. And just like now, we had a little bickering with Vito. Who fucking cares? At the end of the day. I, I'm so over that narrative nowadays where people will literally draw their friendship lines with people depending on their political stance. It's fucking gross. I think we're coming out of this whole fucking political shit. I mean, I don't think we're coming out of it 100%, but I think we're coming out of it a little bit. We hey, need another election is what we need. Yeah, we need another erection. Well, done. What was it? Star Wars? Uh, there was an article on Yahoo the uh, other day, and it was like... Star Wars fans, blah, blah, blah. And then it was like how Star Wars fans tried to stop uh, ruined Ryan Johnson sequels or movies. And um, how, how will the toxic fan base continue? And it was the like, fans did not ruin fucking those Fucking scumbags. Yeah, that was a Yahoo Thank article. Thank you for the though. call, by the way, Connor. I don't know if I said that or not. Yeah, Thank Connor's you. a good guy. He always calls. That was a good call. Very political, but good call. Yeah, the the fans did not ruin those movies. Um, my fr dude, I don't know if I told you this story, but when we went and saw the Last Jet, I think I did. I think I told this on Monetize This or Corrupted, one of the two. Me and Keish mm -hmm. went and saw the Last Jedi, and I walked out of that theater just like, what the fuck was that garbage? 
Like I walked out of there really, really with my head down. Cause I actually thought that, uh, uh, the force awakens was very, very good. I really liked it. I thought it was like a safe, safer movie, but I liked it. I like, I know that it was kind of like a remake rehash and whatever, but I kind of liked it. I know Ray was a little overpowering and shit, but I still liked it. And I, I'm not, I'm not saying that there was not obvious plot holes or, or rehashing of some things. I mean, <clears throat> people can say what they want about the, uh, you know, the droid delivering the, uh, the package to have the answer, just like it was in A New Hope. This one was, I mean, different. The droid, you had to have R two D two, and what is it? B is it BB eight or B eighty eight? Something like that. BB eight. BB eight. They had to like connect the the droid chips in order to create the path to find the answer, which is the obviously Luke Skywalker. I don't see. To me, that doesn't bother me. I don't think that that's like that. That anyway, that doesn't bother me. But my point is, we went and saw the Last Jedi, and I was watching that movie, and I was like. This has to be the biggest SJW festival I have ever fucking seen. Yeah. I've never watched a movie where women's empowerment was shoved so far down my fucking throat. Yeah, and the guys were like All the guys retards. were stupid. They made them out to be like little short fucking hobbit dumbasses. <laughs> like, dude, when when when, pa- when uh, Poe Dameron gets like stunned and, and like falls to the floor yeah. and then like Leia and what's her name were just like... <sighs> He'll get over it. It's like, and then she <laughs> fucking floats like the statue of country through outer space. That was oh ridiculous. my god, the statue of country, dude. Look at this. Star Wars fans are trying to kill Ryan Johnson new trilogy, and then it says like, um, toxic fandom continues. It's like you mean people's opinions. You mean people didn't like the movie, so you attack them and call them toxic fans? You know, so- Sony's figured this out with their new Ghostbusters movie. They're they're now saying like oh you know love letter to the fans and you know they they did a 180 they lost that yeah. money and they did a 180 over there like they attacked the so, fans so originally Joe, now when Chris bash a movie tbh Whoa. for all these people screaming at people and protesting peace and equality is literally the thing causing less peace and creating more divide than equality they are literally accomplishing the opposite of what they tried to do. Yeah, I don't. I, you're right. I don't get why they do it either. It's bizarre. Uh, team Garza, what's up, team? How you doing, man? What's up, motherfucker? You want to go out and melt a snowman with me? Team Garza, you want to melt a snowman with me and JB? We're about to do it. I don't know what that means. It sounds like some kind of weird, like... Yeah, it's like almost like some weird sexual advancement or something. You want to melt a snowman? Yeah, like some kind of inside racist joke or something. Like, yo, let's go melt the snowman. Like, that's what they call, uh, like, lighting white people on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go melt yeah. the snowman? Stomp on the carrot. What the fuck? Yeah, stomp, yeah, the coal. I remember when I lived in New Hampshire and we actually had coal. We had coal in the house. So if you open the basement, it was a whole coal thing, like a whole wooden thing and they dump co- the guy the coal guy would come by and dump coal in the basement bring back coal i just can't believe i had a coal stove that's awesome i mean i guess it was i used to walk in it cold like literally is what this country survived on okay yeah but like i this, mean we don't need it now Yes, we don't need it now, but I mean, people, I mean, they demonize coal, but the coal is literally why this, I mean, this country was the biggest, it, to this day, is still the biggest steel fucking. Well, it's not like, you know, you're saying like, oh, you know, fuck coal, it always sucked. No, I mean, it was served the purpose, but we got smarter, so now we should be able to use other shit. No, I agree. We absolutely have better, um, more pure gas and stuff to burn and stuff rather than coal that we used to mine underground, like fucking, um, uh, you know, like little like moles and shit. I understand that. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I don't know if there's certain like low aged millennial people that ha- that don't understand that the coal we mined. I got to talk about uh, was was used to melt for steel. Yeah. Right. No. No. Yeah. It was wicked. Fucking. That shit is amazing for that. That's what supported the war in uh, Europe. That's how we. I mean, that's just like steel was what kept this country's economy alive and boomed uh, through the fifties. By the way. Radnick, so anyways. Radnick in the chat said, uh, "Liberals are anti-war but pro-baby killing." Um, well, I, I would like to. I would. I, I I would like to say that liberals are anti-war but pro-baby killing. But um, 
Republicans are uh, liberals are not anti-war, my friend. Republic, yeah, they are. They're very warlike. Um, but no, Republicans. Barack Obama really liked war. <laughs> Republicans um, are against killing babies, but would love them to die when they're eighteen in some other country so we can get oil. Uh, so, well, that's not that's not true. At least not all of us. I don't. I don't enjoy war. If I ever come on here and I pretend like I love bombing people and stuff, although it's awesome, uh, I don't. I'm not really that into it. Mm. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Obviously, did land. No, no I, I want you I am to not just. In favor of war. <laughs> I want you to come off like a psycho. Hey Bailey, <laughs> let's let's close on this last thing. Yeah, before we, we we need to stop this uh, launch party because we got a lot of content to record over the next four days. So yeah. We got to put up all wait, this content. Wait, do we have an exact launch date, Joe? Are we launching on Monday? Yeah, uh, we. I will say that we may release episode one early at some point, maybe. But what do you think? I, when should we put um, out the first episode? Ask the chat. We'll ask you guys. Yeah, I think because I if think we, Monday. If we do though. that, we wouldn't be dropping them Ben style. We would just be dropping one episode. Yeah, I would say we could do one on Friday and then Monday, or we could do one on Monday. We could do one on Monday. Just drop it Monday. Like all of them at once? Oh, um, yeah, we could drop all the episodes on Monday. Or, then... like, you you know what? You're right. Why don't we drop episode one on Friday before monetize this 200, and then we'll drop the rest of them on Monday. Kind of get okay. people primed. That sounds good. So there you go. First it. episode drops Friday, and then we drop uh, prob uh, probably another five on Monday. What do you think about the moon landing? It's do you, fake. Do you think we landed on the moon? I don't know. See, this is this is a weird road to go down. This yeah. is, when you go down the moon landing rabbit hole, it's days, maybe even months to years before you come out with an actual uh, answer. And this has always been a weird one with me. I love this one. We should talk about this one on the show. Okay. But we should also talk about cock sucking too. I'm gonna pass on that one. Not my cup of D. No, you're so fake. Like, dude, we've been on the phone before drunk and you've one time oh, I remember the oh, time stop it. Just stop it. What? Just stop. I was close to coming and you finished it for me. <laughs> Just <to> tell everybody. <laughs> You were like, oh, I was. You're like, well, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, just go. Oh, yeah, okay, oh, that's weird. And you did that. Now, uh, you know, there are times I do think that Joe is gay. Yeah. And uh, I think this one right here, the way he, oh, like, yeah, it's it's. Yeah. Can we end this fucking show? There's sometimes when like I just want to pat you like a, like a puppy with a boner. <clears throat> Why do you do? Why can't you ever just end a show normal? What? It's always got to end like this. <laughs> Look at this photo of you. You know how hard that's going to be to Photoshop you out of this with that white glow in the background? What the what? <laughs> Love that photo. Yeah. It's a Man. great photo. You look like a gay mouse. A gay mouse? Yeah. You look very mousy in this photo. Man, I just tell you what, you wouldn't last two seconds in Harlem. We got to end the show. We got shit to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just like sitting here, like listening to you, like freak out, like oh no. Well, we're 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 literally mimicking what the fucking fat boy does on his channel. Who's what? Are you, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the preview. Get ready for Bailey and Cronin show to return. A morning. No. What? Oh. Don't I want to date a nasty person. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to be dropping all the new episodes. This is just a hangout. Thanks for the donations. Ah.
I wanna date a goo.